Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to RT Share Tea, where respiratory therapists live out loud. With me, your host, Linda Fry, the asthma lady. Yes. Welcome everybody. Welcome to anybody new. Once again, thank you all for the support. I'm just coming from Conference by the Sea, the Maryland and DC Society for Respiratory Care Conference, and had an amazing time. They took good care of me over there. So of course I was speaking on asthma education with passion, and I was speaking on career management tips and using the strategies to elevate the career. So special thought, big special shout outs to Sheila, Dan White, Jennifer, Kimberly, Carol, uh, Joel, Joe Brown, Mindy. If I forgot anybody, please forgive me. All right, guys. But like I said, everybody took such good care about such good care of me at the conference. I had a great time. And so that is the vibe for today's episode. We are talking about the power of conferences. All right. And why it's a good idea to attend at least one a year. Okay, so that's the vibe for today. Okay, so I wrote some of the stuff down of my, the different, the, the perspectives that I have since I've been going to a lot of conferences this year and last year, uh, opposed as, as opposed to how I used to be where I used to never go to conferences because of the time constraints and having so many jobs and just feeling like I didn't have the time to go. All right, so I'm gonna let you know what happened. And I wrote this stuff down once again. All right, so let's talk about the value of attending conferences. The networking opportunities are amazing. It's insane who you can have access to at conferences. So you can literally meet the who's who of your industry and be able to pick that person's brain. And in addition to that, you are surrounded by like-minded people. So just feel, you can feel the energy in the room and it really does motivate and inspire you to just be the best version of you. So I really, really like the the energy that you get from conferences, um, and it's 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 different than doing it online, you know, and getting like um, when you have to get credits or you know learn something. It's just a different vibe in person at conferences. All right. So I just wanted to say that. So a tip that I have for anybody that goes to conference, um, you know, as, as a first time attendee, I gave this tip in an older episode, but for those introverts like me that have as extrovert moments, uh, try to get good sleep and have a good meal during the day of the conference, like a good breakfast, have your tea, have your coffee, because you want to be in good spirits and you want to have the energy level to interact with everyone, you know, so you don't want to be in the corner all tired and to yourself. Um, you do want to engage with others. And, and like I said, just feel that vibe and energy in, at the, at the event. Okay. So that's one. Uh, I'm, I don't think I said this, but maybe I said it already, but you do, you can pull, like, let's say you meet a keynote speaker, you could pull that person to the side and just be like, Hey, listen, I connected with what you had to say. And I just really want to pick your brain. So it's so, it's, it's so amazing that you can actually get the tips right then and there, or you can ask them, Hey, listen, are you going to go to the social event, um, later, later the, in the day, you know, let me, uh, uh, let me, let me get, get you dinner or I don't know, lunch is on me or whatever, because to be able to pick that person's brain in real time is priceless. Trust me. Okay. So continuous learning. I, I am a lifelong learner and in a lot of industries, you do have to be a lifelong learner, especially in the healthcare field, especially in respiratory. So what I like to tell everybody is think of yourself like a good app on your phone. So these apps 
on the on your phone they constantly update their software and the reason why they do that is because they want you the user to have optimal to have an optimal experience so that you will keep using the app and people will keep downloading downloading the app and you know spreading word of mouth to get this specific app so you want to think of yourself just like that Updating your software, continue to up your value, learn, invest in yourself. And so you can um, provide that value to others and being in demand. So yes, continuous learning. Everyone learns differently. So what I love about conferences is like they offer a platter of learning opportunities. So you can literally go to a workshop go to a panel, um, a poster, a uh, poster board um, forums, and you can, uh, you know, have just access to the keynote. Once again, keynote speakers. So you get so many opportunities to learn a specific topic. So, and it, it's, you can't get that really the same, you can get it online, but not in the same magnitude. So that is a blessing in its own. And finding inspiration at, at the conferences, you get to, to see what's new out there, what's innovative and being inspired and motivated by people who are actually doing the work, uh, who may be speaking for who may be speaking at the event. For example, I was speaking on asthma education in relations to health equity and meeting patients where they are in life, right? So I had a tip on um, educating parents who are smokers of children with asthma. So it was it was a one of my slides and somebody asked me a question off the slide and they said they just never heard that tip before that I gave in the slide. And so I was like, well, that's why you're here. <laughs> and that's why they invited me to speak. You understand? So, and he, you can, I literally saw his aha moment. He was like, wow, okay. So, um, yeah, you get to have those aha moments. And it was like, I, I just didn't know. Right. So that's a that's a that's a good one. And career advancements. You really don't know sometimes where your next job is going to come from and the next job opportunity. And so these conferences, you can learn. Right. You can learn um, new things. And I tell people to apply what you have learned. That's why I love sharing practical strategies. So things that you can actually apply and hence upping your value. You know saying? And people might notice it at work or um, in other things that you're doing and creating options for yourself, other job opportunities. So amazing, love it. And so, and oh, I also wanted to speak on, uh, you know, just keeping it real. Uh, we know these conferences, they're not cheap. Uh, and sometimes you, we just don't have the time to go to all of them. Like I can't go to every single conference. So my advice is to prepare in advance every year or every other year to attend at least one, just one conference to, to once again, have the opportunities that I just spoke about today's episode. All right. So let me know if I missed something here today. Uh, once again, these are things that just off top of my head, I write them down. And these are things that really uh, help me. And, and when I reflect, I just like, let me write these things down and share with you guys, giving you guys the tea. All right. <laughs> so I hope you learned something from me to here today. Know that we are here on most podcast platforms on Wednesdays and we are on YouTube on Thursdays. All right. So we have so much more to come. We have more guest speakers and just exciting times ahead. All right, guys. So remember to invest in yourself and to only compete with yesterday's version of you. See you next week. Bye.